Hey guys, Gas Junkies here, and just got this in the mail. It is the WL Toys 979B. Let's do a little opening up here. Manual tool in there. And there's the truck. See if we can get it in and I got it unboxed here. Took the body off. I'm going to do the wet motor break in. So I'm going to get the motor off and then I'll come back with the break in. All right, well I got the water break in started. See, I just took the motor out, distilled water, and hooked the battery up, and I went to go use the throttle trim on the remote. Well, apparently it doesn't work. So what I used was a zip tie. I just barely pulled the throttle. And I'm just gonna let it run for about a half hour until the battery dies, and then go from there. It's been about an hour. I just shut it off. And as you can see, how the water turned gray. The next step I'm going to do, I'm going to take this electronic cleaner and spray it through the motor until it turns clear. And then lastly, just put a little bit of oil on the shaft. Alright, I got the braking out of the way. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking my electronic cleaner, and I'm spraying it down. Really, I should have took the engine mount off, but I didn't. And then it spray through there until it starts coming out clear. And then I'm going to take my 3-in-1 oil. And I'm going to go on the little shaft on both sides. I'm going to take that gear off. But, and I'll be putting the motor back in, and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back with an update. I did not get a video of the first run. It ran pretty good. I was just having a problem with it staying straight. The one wheel was like cocked sideways. It got a little bit straighter now. But later on that night I was going to get a video and hooked up the truck and it was not working. So I forgot to unhook the battery and I was putting the body on. I was like alright I'll just go home and mess with it. And out of nowhere the truck just went full throttle with the ESC off. And I finally ripped the body off and was able to get the battery unhooked. But the ESC went up in smoke and it is no longer good. So my brother had a Red Cat ESC. Brand new that I put on here. I might move it yet, I'm not sure. And the receiver was built into the old ESC so I had to get... Luckily he had another receiver sitting there from his Nitro. Which is the transmitter. And put that all up and went to go hook up the steering servo, which is a five wire servo. So I had to order one online, and that's currently what I'm waiting on. And then once I get that, I'll have another video of it. I did message a company about what happened with the truck because I only ran it one time. So I'll get back to you on that if they ever reply. And next video, I'll be back with it running. Okay guys, I got the new steering servo in. It's a three wire. Uh, I wanted to go plug in the battery and for some reason the ESC that my brother gave me went up in smoke. So he actually had another one that he was going to use in his other truck, but this is just temporarily to get this thing running. And I actually moved it around. I have the ESC mounted over here. I have the receiver right here in front of it. And I actually moved the battery up to here. Right now it's a zip ties. I'm going to get Velcro straps pretty soon. It's just temporarily, but next I'm going to show you guys how it runs. Thank <laughs> you. 